How do we know we're not just something in the dream of a turtle floating in space? <laughs> it's a rather nice thought that we're something <laughs> in the dream of a turtle floating in space. Um, yeah, how do we know stuff is real? Um, I, I, the simple answer to that, I guess, is we, we don't. The Matrix is a movie that plays upon the idea that if we somehow fool our sense organs and provide different sorts of inputs that are controlled by an evil computer generated environment that somehow we wouldn't find out about that unless there were this cadre of people in flying hovercrafts who could come and give us pills um, to take stuff away. Uh, however, things aren't as bad as all that. Um, the information we have about the outside world comes through our sense organs, um, the primary senses like vision and touch and smell and hearing. Um, and we also act upon the world, so it's, it's not just that we passively receive these sense impressions, we also interact and act on the world and then see the consequences of our actions in terms of what happens to um, our sense organs when we, for example, go out running. So we acquire knowledge about the world through that cycle of uh, perceiving and interacting, and we build up um, um, some kind of overall picture of what's real in the sense that it systematically uh, behaves in particular ways. The sun comes up in the morning, when we go out running we get tired, and our feet hurt from, from the blisters on our feet, and so on and so forth. And if the world didn't behave in that way, we would revise our predictions, our inferences about the world, or perhaps would even detect that there's something a little bit odd about it. Um, so, for example, um, there's a, a, a room called the Ames Room, which psychologists construct, which is a very odd room because it, it isn't made uh, like most rooms um, with uh, parallel floors and ceilings. It actually slopes down to a, 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 a very small space at the other end. But cleverly, it's constructed with laws of perspective in mind, so it doesn't look like that. It looks like a normal room until we interact with it and then go into it and uh, have all these funny effects um, uh, that enable us to dis discover it's not real in the sense that it's not a real room just like a regular room. So, uh, summing it all up, we can never, I think, ultimately know with absolute certainty whether anything's real, but our brains and our perceptual systems and the way we act on the world are all constructed to carefully make inferences about the outside world and in that way detect if there's any um, inconsistencies in how the unreal world has been put together. Thank you.